I'm now going to show off editing, adding, and removing sections of your funnel template. So let's jump into the funnel. <clears throat> All right, and the first thing that I want to do is hide this section right here um, because I don't need this section yet. I haven't been featured by any publications. The best way to do it would be to select it and then go to Section, Manage, and then hover over that section that you want to hide and click the Hide button toggle visibility button okay so I'm gonna show you how to add a section uh, let's say I want to put in a different custom section right here um, maybe I want to put testimonials there um, so I can just move my cursor to the bottom of that section and this plus sign will pop up alternatively I can uh, click section here and then click add section um, but it's easier to place it if you just click the plus there and then I can uh, decide my width for the section so I'm gonna do full width because uh, what we're gonna do is add a um, container inside of it a columned container so we'll just say I'm gonna put testimonials here we will say I've got four testimonials so we'll do the four column and what you really want to do is make sure that um, you got the width right on this by uh, l just look at the margins on the side and make sure that those margins kind of line up with where the other elements are like for example this blue line on the side here is lining up with my my blue line on the other elements which means my containers are lined up on the site which is important if you want it to be um, visually appealing to visitors just kind of keep it, keeping this uh, this side aligned and the same thing applies to the other side as well you want to just uh, keep that alignment now I have forgotten to add a title here but that's an easy fix um, at the bottom of this column I can just hit the plus and then add a one column row and then in that one column row I can add an element and do a headline so now I'm just going to call this reviews. So now if I uh, if I hover over the, the column here, I can click on the up arrow right here. And then it'll put that column over my review columns here. So I'm going to start building out these reviews. <clears throat> In the first column, I want to do, um, let's see. I want to do a subheadline, and then underneath that, I want to do a divider, and then underneath that, I want to do paragraph text. Um, so we're going to we're going to say that is the name for my testimonial, and then this is going to be my testimonial here. So. Um, Let's see. I'm just going to grab some sample testimonials online. And that text is a little big for my liking. Um, so I'm going to click inside of the text field here. And then I can lower the uh, font size for that. So Peter Smith, of course, has some, some great things to say. <laughs> um, and then what I'm going to do is copy that column into the next column so and actually um, I can delete these columns and then I can just hover over each one of these and then just click that copy button and there we go that gives me reviews so that's one way to do it of course you can mess with the styling you can <clears throat> remove the divider or um, you can click into one of these elements and then we can increase the padding at the top if we want to give it a different look however you want to do it really 
I kind of actually prefer it without the divider. So I'm going to delete these columns and copy that. There we go. So we're just going to pretend that these are my reviews. <clears throat> and then additionally, of course, I can always change the background color here. So we'll do uh, this navy blue color just to match the rest of the website. And then I'm just going to change the, the text color for each of these to white. There we go. Nice. So there's my reviews section. Now it is of course going to take some practice to get good at this, to get the hang of, of messing with um, your funnels and making changes and stuff. But I mean, once you get past that initial like one or two hour learning curve of, of figuring it all out, it's very, very, uh, very, very easy. And of course you can always reach out to uh, the team at Leadstack, and we can help you out with anything. Look at this section here. This is a sort of a complicated section. So, if you hover over all of these elements and you break it down, we have two columns right here, and then we have two columns right here, and then we have several rows of text here. So what I'm going to do right now is um, actually re rebuild this section, just because I believe it's the most complicated. Uh, it's one of the most complicated sections on the website, and rebuilding this will give you a very good idea of uh, how to build sections like this. So I'm going to uh, click the plus sign at the bottom here to create a new section, and I'm going to go with full width. And then, uh, of course, two columns here and two columns here. So. I'm going to add a row, two columns, and then below that, I'm going to add another row with two columns. And then we have this large title and a subtitle. So in one of these, I'm going to add a headline and then a subheadline. And then um, both of these need to be aligned to the left. So hover over text align to the left for both of those elements. And they're also very large elements, so I'm going to increase that font size as well. And I'm going to copy that text, paste it into there. <clears throat> and then this text is a little bit smaller on our other element. Okay. And then also, um, the spacing on these columns is different, so I can increase the spacing here. Okay. There we go. And then um, down here, there is an image and then uh, text. So I'm going to add a, an image element right here. And um, on the image settings over here, I can browse for an image. And then uh, just for example's sake, I'm going to put this one in right there. And then we have titles over here. So headline and then subheadline actually that looks more like paragraph text so I'm going to re remove that element and add paragraph and then this is left aligned as well so left align that And then you can just copy 
these elements. I'm going to move these down. And of course, um, now I need to figure out spacing. So I think I'm going to add um, some padding to the bottom of each of these. So we have um, a couple of different options for adjusting um, spacing. There is padding, and then there's margin. <clears throat> so and it can be a little bit confusing at first. Um, but I will say there, there's not really a proper, um, way to do it. It can be a little bit confusing whether you want to use padding or margins. Um, but the best way to think about it is that padding is the amount of space inside of the element. And then margins is the amount of essentially white space, um, out, outside of the element. Um, so both of either of these um, can be used to get the desired result for spacing. Um, for this one, I'm going to use padding. And I'm going to do 20 pixels. And we're going to do top padding as well. I'm going to do that for each of these title elements, 20 pixels of padding. And actually, I want to reduce it a little bit on the bottom. So we'll do 10. There we go. That's looking pretty similar. And then, of course, paste my uh, titles into there, text. And then just increase this font size a little bit. So we'll do 16 pixels. Okay, and then the button, um, the easiest way to do the button is to just copy it and then move that element um, down. But I'm going to show you how to create that button as well. So I can add an element below this paragraph, and we're going to go with button. And this one is green. I definitely don't want a green button. So select the color and orange. <clears throat> And then I can align that button to the left and I can give it some. Forty pixels looks good. All right, there we go. That is the section. Um, and then in this one, they just added um, just a little column down at the bottom to increase um, the spacing there. So we can do that as well. So that should be all of the information that you need when it comes to adding, removing, and editing sections. Thank you for watching.